U.S. Bank brings us stories of inspirational athletes who amaze us each week. Our Wesley Boone joins us now with the story of a father's legacy on the Kennedy of Richmond football team. Thanks, Robert. For one of the top players in the entire nation, success on the football field is only worth so much. Kennedy Richmond standout Jermaine Terry is more concerned with leaving a lasting legacy in his hometown and, in the process, honoring a long-lost figure from his past. In high school, football, for many, is just a game. You don't produce, I can't help you. For others, it could also be a way out. I just really just want to help out the city, just help out my family, and just make, make everyone's life better. That's really about it. For Kennedy Richmond's Jermaine Terry, football is an opportunity to create a lasting legacy for himself and, in the process, honor a father he can barely remember. I'm trying to make sure his legacy lives on. You know, I'm his junior. But that last name, Terry, it means something on the back of that jersey. You know, and I'm going to make sure people understand that. And, you know, I'm just trying to make sure his legacy lives on. Jermaine's father passed away when he was only five years old. With Jermaine's memories of his dad, few and distant. And just, just like going to his house, chilling with him, him being with me and my mother, you know, just. I was really young, so I really don't remember as much, but you know, he was just like a very impactful person in my life, you know. He was just always the man of the house and like, you know, the leader of the family, basically. Growing up without his father, Jermaine was forced into a leadership role from an early age, making him a natural leader on the football field. Dealing with what he had to deal with, with at a young age, his attitude is starting to reflect and rub off on this team. So I think that's just a blessing to have in itself. You don't find many players like that that um, as, as good as he is and as good as he can be, he's very humble. I mean, you would not even think he was being recruited. You know, he wants everybody to have success. And you don't find many selfless players like that. Jermaine's talents at tight end were attracting attention from college football juggernauts like Alabama, LSU, Florida, and USC, among others. Despite the attention, Jermaine is focused on one thing. Just walking around Richmond, you see a lot of familiar faces of people that could have did something with their lives with sports, but you know, they're just doing something else now. And I don't want to be one of, uh, one of those people or another statistic. So if you want something, you got to work to get it, and it's not going to be handed to you. So if you want it, you got to work for it. Like a lot of people, they say they want stuff, but they really don't want it. So me, you know, I just try to make sure that I'm uh, putting myself in the best position to always succeed. With an exciting future ahead of him, Jermaine is poised to achieve those goals. With him always, a figure from his past, pushing him, inspiring him, and guiding him along his way. Talking to Jermaine, he's most concerned with taking care of his family. Now, despite all of the attention from the nation's top schools, he said a degree is the end goal and everything else is just extra. Yeah, really smart guy. I met him at the beginning of his junior year and he was good then, but he is really good now. He's really developed. I'm excited to see where he picks to go to school because he's going to have a choice of some of the best schools in the country. Yeah, great position to be in. All right, thanks, Wes.